Good morning, Internet. So today is going to be a different type of vlog. People have been asking us to do a question and answering video for a very, very long time since we pretty much have been together. So today... So the time has come. Wait, do it very dramatic. And the time has come. So today we are going to answer a lot of you guys' questions that you guys have been asking on Twitter. I'm really excited and a little bit nervous. I am too. But you know what? Why not? New Year. New Year. Hey guys, this is the first time we've ever done a little Ask Chally, I guess you can call it, or something cheesy like that. So we got all these questions from you guys, and we're basically just going to go through it all, answer you guys' questions. Yes, we should are. Should we just dive in? I think we should just dive in. Okay, the first question, Allie, have you ever heard of CTFXC or We The Kings before you met me? I have heard of We The Kings. That's right. But I did not hear of CTFXC. The next question, how did you meet? We have no idea actually how we met. We actually, we really don't. We have no idea how we met. I wish we had an answer. We just have no idea. Lots of mutual friends. Yeah. But it, in college. In, yeah, in college. So, but we really don't know how we officially like met. I don't think we ever had that official. Hey. Yeah. I'm Ali. Let's let's hey, be friends. We never did that. Mm -mm. It's it's kind of funny because I think it was like during the days of Facebook, and I was at USF. She was at USF, and she had a friend at USF, and I think it was friends with her friend, and somehow yeah. we all well, became friends. Here's the thing. I remember when Facebook kind of, or when I first had Facebook, it was the cool thing to get as many friends as you possibly could, so you accepted everyone. To answer that quest, we, question, we literally have no idea. We kind of wish we did. But we, when people ask us that, we just kind of have to laugh it off, because we, we have no idea. No idea. Hopefully that answered your question, but it really doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't even <laughs> answer our question about it, because we don't really know. How many tattoos does Allie have, and does she plan on getting more? How many do you have? I only have three. This one, I have one on my foot, which I... Bring your foot up there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> and then I have this one. This is the one she just got. Mm -hmm. And I will be getting more. I just... I want to be smart about my choices. <laughs> Wait, these are on forever? Dima said they can wipe these off in a couple no. years. Is that henna? This person asked what happens, asked the alley what happens, and what others can do if a friend or a relative has one in their sleep as well. Like her experiences basically. This is not medical. We're not a doctor. This is just basically what she ends up having to do when I go through it. Well, one of the biggest things that Char told me when we first met was that he did have seizures and what I should do if that happens. The biggest thing is rolling them on their side. So, and it's scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is probably one of the scariest things I've ever experienced in my life. I know the first seizure that I dealt with with Char, um, thankfully I had Hunter and, and Caitlin. Caitlin there, yeah, yeah. and they helped me tremendously. I love them both so much. Um, but it's first off just to roll them on their side because you don't want them to choke or anything bad to happen like that. So you want to roll them on their side, make sure that you know they're yeah. Because like when you when you have a seizure, you're not trying to. You spit up this like is it bile? Um, it's like it's like, white. it's like a as weird as it sounds. It's like think about a baby throwing up. It sounds like they're choking a little bit. So you want to make sure that they don't choke. So you want to roll them like I said on their side. And honestly, you wait it out. Once they start coming to, you want to make sure that they know that you're there and. Obviously, you have certain things that I have to bring to you when you have a seizure. Yeah, like I have Ativan, mm -hmm. and for me, my left hand kind of goes limp. It goes limp, and just kind of remember when I had the surgery and I couldn't use my left side. It's kind of like that. So everyone's always different. But also, one of the things that I was trying to do for him is get him something that like has sugar because you burn a lot of calories. Yeah, you burn like. Um, yeah. If you, I had seizures all day, I'd be ripped. You'd be ripped. <laughs> Not that we want that. And that's the thing about Char is every time he comes out of it, he usually has some weird joke <laughs> that he has to say. If you could travel in time, what were what year would you visit and why? What year? Yeah. I think I'd, I'd visit the 70s. I just like that it's Just a decade of the 70s? Oh, yeah. I don't think there's a particular year. I can't be like, I'd like to visit 1972. <laughs> I'd go back and I'd kill Hitler. Maybe you would want to try and change this. I would, I would give him a hug. I would give baby Hitler a hug. Yes. I would take him to play baseball. Yes. What was your biggest fear when you were little? I am afraid of the dark. You're dark? My parents? Okay, my, this is kind of fucked up. Mom, Dad, I'm looking at you. 
Uh, to keep my sister in line, keep us going to bed and listen, my dad had this roadie. His name was Bubba. Um, I'm making this up. His name was Bubba. It was like a roadie. Just think Nerd Rock. They would always call him if we weren't being good because they lived around the area. And he'd come and like pound on our windows. And my parents would say the man in the truck was coming to get us. Would you rather be able to fly 10 miles an hour or run 100 miles per hour? I think I would want to fly. I know I have like a fear of flying in a plane. So but I don't think I have a like, fear of... So? You get to see things that must be... Think the golf see. cart and half the golf cart speed. I know that. But at the same time, you get to see... Like when you're running, you're still walking. You're still in that same... It's normal. Okay, I'm looking for something Versus. different. Yeah, but... You don't have time to take in everything when you're running 100 miles per hour. That's good observation. Damn right. <laughs> How many black t-shirts do you own, Charles Trippy? Smiley face. Geez, not that many. What is our funniest moment together? I think anytime we travel is always funny. It is funny. It's just fun. I, I don't think it's so much funny. Is just we have a lot of fun together. You know what I mean? I think that's important as a couple. I went to the wrong gate. Literally, we I went remember to that. The wrong gate. I went to the wrong gate, and we still just had fun. We did, and we were stranded at an airport <laughs> for an extra couple of hours. I blamed. I, bl I tried to blame the airline. Oh, nope, no. it was Charles. That was me. I will say that one of my funniest moments with Charles, and I think it was more funny for me than it was for Charles, was when I waxed his chest. In his stomach, I thought it was great. That wasn't fun. <laughs> that wasn't fun at all. Allie, were you a, a little afraid that Zoe and Marley wouldn't warm up too? Yes. Actually, Zoe wasn't bad. When I first met Marley, she gave me this stare down. I swear it was just like, it was it was really a staring contest. She just st stood there and she looked at me like this. It's true, you guys know Marley. And it really didn't stop. Yeah. But now we're like best friends. When I introduced Diesel to Char, I'm like, all right, Diesel, get tough, keep it together. He loved me. He did. He just, He did. What's up, buddy? He, like, loved him, but that's how Diesel is. He's a lover. Did Allie know the CTFXC before I started dating Charles? I did not. Actually, you know what's really funny? I can't kind of answer this. I never watched YouTube. I didn't really understand YouTube. I didn't really That actually blew it. my mind um, when she I mean, me like, that. obviously, I've watched, like, music videos and things of that sort. But besides that, I never really went on YouTube. I honestly am not really a technology type of person. Like I wouldn't use She's a phone. tech turkey. Yes. A big tech turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to try to lick her elbow. Oh, I have a really good idea. <laughs> you getting close? No, my arm doesn't work that way. I feel like it's almost possible. I would really hear luck. You lick mine, I'll lick yours. <laughs> Wait, actually, I'm curious. Am I even getting close? Yeah, you have a giraffe tongue. How close am I? Here, ready? Let me help you. Actually, just shove me down. I'm gonna see if I can do this. <laughs> I don't wanna break Shove me down and pull me up. <laughs> oh ready? my god, this, this is so wrong! Am I close? I, I got something. <laughs> Did I get it? I know. No, that wasn't actually hurting at all. All those years of yoga. <laughs> <laughs> How did you react when you found out that I filmed my life and put it on the internet? Okay. I think we kind of waited until we actually f uh, FaceTimed or whatever, yeah. or yeah. Skype for the first time. We didn't really ask too much via text. No, we didn't. No. It's too hard to explain yeah. things on text message. You know so what I mean? So we waited till we Skyped. When I first found out, I was kind of like, what the hell? Did I tell you, or did you just find out? Um, I just so happened to be on the front page of YouTube one day. And one day he was on the front page of YouTube, and when I worked actually in my office building, um, that was what we would do is we'd find music and we'd just put on playlists off of YouTube. <laughs> but his face was on the front page, so I was like, oh, interesting. This guy keeps surprising me. <laughs> what is the best thing that has come out of you stepping in front of the camera? Stepping out in front of the camera, one, it's kind of made our relationship a little bit easier because it was tough. He was super respectful about not putting me in front of the camera. Back in the day when she was squiggles. Yeah. Kind of makes me more confident. I think one of the biggest things was I am, like I said, a really private person. I just don't like my business out there. 
and now that it's all out there, it's kind of, I, it seems like it's helped me, but I, I think it helps other people I feel too, like so it makes me feel better. You're a more confident person, I think, now. I definitely am. Why well, I'm more sure of who I am as an individual. Yeah. Gatherings and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I remember there's Allie's, a little girl. this is Allie's favorite memory, and it's become one of my favorite memories. There was this little girl. Was it at Bufferfest? Yeah, what was her name? I can't remember Sam her name. Or she was a little or... blonde girl. I have she, a picture of her on my Instagram. She's adorable. She's so cute. And uh, her mom said she didn't want to meet anyone else. And she she was came like, to see me. She came just to see her. So I was with Danny, Lindsay, yeah. myself. So she didn't care less about us. She just wanted to meet Allie. And it was like the coolest thing in the world. And she was just this young little blonde girl. And she was so... I mean, there were so many sweet people there. But yeah. it was just... It really does stick out in my mind because I was like, oh my gosh, I am actually affecting somebody's life. And that is the biggest compliment you could ever have. What is Allie... What is it short for? Allie is short for... Ready for it? Allie. There it is. I know, it's crazy. What is one of your favorite quotes? Mine's a little dorky. Mine's actually, I think, the mission statement from Apple by Steve Jobs. I'm just going to read it right now. Okay, ready? Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs and the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them, but the only thing that you cannot do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward, and while they may seem like the crazy ones, we see genius because they're the ones crazy enough to think they can change the world and are the ones who do. That's actually, I get goosebumps every single time I read that. What was your first impression of me doing YouTube and filming a lot? I do this all the time to your face. Do you want my honest answer? Yeah. It drove me crazy. Because you didn't know what to do. You know, well, it's different. I mean, it was weird at first. I mean, it takes a little bit of comfort. And I still am trying to get comfortable with it. But it's very cool, too. Because one thing that Char and I always talk about is when we're old and gray and we have kids and grandkids, we can look back on these moments. And I think that's pretty cool. Especially since my memory is terrible. I can't remember yesterday. Oh, sometimes I he forgets. I literally cannot remember two questions I ago. I literally can't remember the questions from two questions ago. <laughs> What is your favorite movie? I have a lot of favorite movies. One of my... You always said Air Bud 2. Any of the Indiana Jones. No, no, no. Back to the Future 2. Top three. Love the Goonies. Love it. Oh, and then you like the Tom Cruise movie, right? Um, Love the Labyrinth. Never ending story. Humps. My humps. My lovely lady loves. Mm. 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 Ew. Three. Two, one. Favorite feature of one another. Okay. It's definitely not that. <laughs> your mouth is really expressive. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I like your voice though. It's very comforting. We do the same expressions. I didn't I didn't notice yeah. that. Right? Ready? One, two, three. Super happy. Sad. Actually. It's your favorite feature. Of you? Of me. <laughs> I think you have cute ears. You have, I have little ears. You have tiny little ears and a tiny little cute nose. Mm -hmm. You have cute little ears. What's your least favorite feature of yourself? Your big old mouth. Yours! <laughs> of me? Yes. Of myself? Um, I don't like my bottom teeth. Mm, I don't like my teeth at all. Snaggle teeth! <laughs> <laughs> Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. French toast. My job is specifically asked me to yeah. not mention what I do. And the reason is because they know what... I do now with my boyfriend, and they know that it's a little bit bigger than I think I expected it to be, yeah. or what I thought it was. For my privacy and the privacy of the company that I work for, they've asked me not to release where I work, what I necessarily do. I can tell you that I'm very lucky to where I don't actually have to be in an office building anymore. Now I can actually work from home, but I do have that luxury to work from home and travel a little bit. But. I can't tell you too much more than that. I can tell you that I'm pretty blessed though, so I'm very happy. How do you handle the unnecessary negativity surrounding our relationship in the YouTube community? You wanna go first? I, I punch the wall. He does not punch There's the wall. There's holes all over the wall. He doesn't. I don't do that, no. Um, the key is uh, to just remember that we're happy and uh, to look at the grand pic picture and um, things like that, you know, just try to remember that you know there's always critics out there there's critics on every single thing there's critics in your everyday life just because it's not broadcasted on the internet doesn't mean they're not there there's critics in your friends your friends are critics you just don't know i usually choose to ignore it i will not lie to you and say that there are days where it's really tough and there's days where 
I respond to the negativity and I try and respond to the most I think everyone adult mistakes. way. Yeah. After I do it, sometimes I regret doing it, but we all have those little flaws where we choose yeah, the it, wrong thing at the wrong moment. But we're not gonna to lie, charge. things do get to us. I mean yeah. we're human I've been doing this eight years, like I said. There are still things people say that somehow I thought I heard everything in the They're world. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like literally I thought at like when I started dating Allie, I was like, They're gonna say stuff. And because it started bothering her. But I never like, thought it would be the extreme. As, extreme as it is. As it is. Yeah. And like, I thought I literally have heard every single thing that could be possibly said about me or about something towards me on the internet for just being so long. And to this day, I am still fucking blown away. Sometimes I think people say negative things not because... I don't think there's really a good reason behind it. I think sometimes they're just... I'm gonna be honest, I think people just like to be assholes because it might make them feel better. It's not about the negative people, it's about the positive people, and it's about us, and it's mm -hmm. about our relationship, and the, and the good people in our life. So, try and focus on the good. And we punch holes in the wall. And we scream into pillowcases like this. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna add in personality-wise what we like about each other. Um, so, what personality trait do you like about me? And I'll tell you what I like about you. I like that you're so driven. Driven? Yeah. I mean, the yeah. ironic part is I can't drive. I know. But you are. I mean, you're very driven. And then, you know, I, I, you make me want to do more with my life. So I, I like the fact that... Tell me more. Stop it! I'm being serious. But you are. You're so driven. But you have such a good heart. You're just so nice and kind. And you make me laugh. So I'm pretty blessed for that. I think... And you accept me for my weird... Yeah. yeah. I would have to say the fact that you can always make me laugh even when I'm pissed off. Like, even if we're like, having an argument or a disagreement. Yeah, guys, we do fight. Like, if we're having... Mother. You could go sit... You sit in the... Shut the up! You go in the corner. You go in the corner. Right there until we're done talking. You know, when I'm pissed off or I'm bummed, she can always make me laugh. You're like you are your your best comedian. You're your best fan. But I would be your... I'd be, I'd be your second best fan. Thanks. I think I'm pretty one. Okay. That sounded really snotty. <laughs> but when you first started talking dating, did you Google Charles? My grandma did. Yeah, that's why we call her grandma. Her grandma is called Google grandma, grandma. Grandma Google. All right, so this is a nice little interesting one. Uh, this is from Ca Cassidy. So basically, you have to reenact this emoji. Here, see, speak. See how you're cheating. Totally cheating. I think I won that one. Yeah, you did. I did. What is the best, worst thing about putting our relationship on the internet? The best thing is that we're able to connect to people that are very similar to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you put yourself on the internet... There's so many people that are kind of in similar situations that we are in. Maybe they're not on the internet, but they're going through similar situations. Yeah, that's a and, very good point right there. Yeah, and... I have brain cancer still, and like, I know I'm not the only person on the, in this world or planet... That's in a relationship. That's in a relationship that has that, so... It's kind of like you're putting your life on the tabloids in the grocery store. You know, because every time you walk by the grocery store, you're like, oh, look at Kim Kardashian. She's fat again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Except for you, you hear what people are You're hearing. <laughs> and you're seeing. Kim Kardashian has no idea you called her fat again. So, I mean, <laughs> I definitely have, you know, the... There's two types of criticism. Tough, there's negative criticism. There's, criti there's criticism to criticize, and then there's constructive criticism. Absolutely, I agree. And I always welcome constructive criticism on any level. Uh, because it things better, it pushes things forward. Um, I agree. Um, would you get a unicorn tatted on your bum? Here's the deal, guys. If I get a tat, if I get two million subscribers by the end of this year, I will get a unicorn tattoo. Pro on his butt. On my butt. I promise you, I will get a unicorn tattoo on my butt. We have to reach two million subscribers by the end of uh, 2015. Demas, if you're watching this. I'm sorry, but it's gonna be so funny. <laughs> I can't believe I just agreed to that. What the fuck is this? I, I, got, I, have no, I have nothing to say, guys. I don't know. Is that your sexy eyes? I think those are my sexy eyes. <laughs> Look at those sensual eyes. They're kind of a sexy eyes, aren't they? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing down there. What is our favorite TV show that we watch together? Do you agree with me? Don't say it. Gossip Girl! Ah! No. We actually, I just started watching that and he loves it. Um, I, but I think our favorite is 30 Rock. Do you like Gossip Girl? Hey, Marley. <laughs> they're trying to look at me, not you. What is your worst school memory? 
Um, my worst school memory would have to be when I was a freshman in high school. <laughs> oh, is this the one we fall? <laughs> and first day of second semester, was leaving the gym, and I had to go to my next class with just this one teacher that everyone was kind of like petrified of. Like he is really intimidating. Basically, you have to show to verify that you're in that class. So it's raining outside. I go up to him and I like, I go, oh my gosh, I forgot my slip that verifies that I'm in your class. You jerks. I left it in gym, or so I thought. Very too Big myself. dork. Basically a big that old dork. wasn't a big old Big dork. old dork. Well, anyways, so <laughs> it had been raining that day and the gym was locked. So I had to walk around through the tennis court, which is the outside, to get into the gym. So I walk into the gym. My gym teacher was there. I told her what was going on. She said, okay, go and look in the locker and see if you can find it. Okay. I leave the locker room and I walk back out the same way I was going. And I just the whole time I'm like, oh. He's gonna kill me. Like this teacher's not gonna let me in the classroom. I, oh my gosh, I can't, I'm gonna fail. I'm thinking the worst things in the world. So as I'm walking out of the gym, it had, let me remind you, it had been raining. I walk out and I slip and I hit my head on the door frame. And I don't know if I got like a concussion or what, but <laughs> I was definitely knocked out. Okay. <laughs> So then the next thing you know, I wake up to the senior guys carrying me. What's a bad habit that you have that annoys one another? I'm perfect, so nothing, right? Almost everything annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that in like the nicest, most loving, caring way. But really, you're awesome, but God, you know you annoy me. <laughs> you really does. I think the worst sometimes, part is I know how to annoy yeah, people. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like I just want to sit and relax. And, or he shoots me with things or blows up door frames or <laughs> throws things at me. But it's funny though because like there's so many things I think that annoys me to do. But I was just going to say what she was awesome just doing. Too. She literally picks at me all the time. She's always like this, just picking at me. No, don't tell me that. You're always just picking at me. And I'm like, don't babe, that. I have to. No. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> It's a nervous habit. She does. She's like, she'll pick us up. I'm like, babe, you're picking. You're like, oh, I didn't know. Oh, Unlike you, I have or, very little that annoys me. Like, I'll tell him to stop, and that obviously means go. I know I'm 30 years old, and I act like a child. Or another thing that really annoys care. me, let's just keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> babe, if you need to take a shit, yeah. the bathroom's over there. Yeah, that's real. No, but the things that annoy me secretly I like too. So. I know. You know, it's like... I was just gonna say, they annoy me, it. but then there's days where I'm like, oh my god, it's really funny. It's actually really <laughs> funny. So it's just the days where I'm like, I don't want to deal with this right now. The best part is like when I know I'm being annoying, but I can see a little smirk coming out of her face. It's like I know I won. It's like I know I'm being annoying, but I pushed it to a right level to where it's funny again. So what's the first thing that came to your mind when you first saw or we'll talked talk to another. each other? Well, see, the thing is, we never really saw each other really talked to each other except on skype and the first time we skyped i remember we connected and i said wow you're gorgeous that was the first thing i said wasn't it yeah it was really, and it was funny because i had just gotten back from the gym because he was like hey do you want to skype and i was like freaking out so i was like oh my god i look like crap this is terrible <laughs> my hair is on top of my head i can't believe Her this. Ali yeah so i did like i said i just got back from the gym but i was just like whatever he's can like me like this and I think we'll be in good shape. <laughs> so yeah, the person that we got that was yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well you didn't say anything though. Oh. I said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought he was very handsome. And the final question of our first Q and A session, which I think has been really fun, is I dare both of you to jump in the pool right now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little question and answering. That was a lot of fun. As you Blast. can as you can see, Zoe and Marley are a little bummed that they didn't get enough questions. So, guys, Zoe Marley questions next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just make your jaw limp. Him good. <laughs> My name uh, is Ali. <laughs> just your lip. Let me, let me just be able to move your lip.
Okay, good job. Okay, good. Seriously, oh, that's another thing that annoys me to answer that question. He farts all the time and blames it on me. You burp all the time. I do. I do. You know what they say? Better out than in. <laughs> what is? What does that even mean? Anyway, if you guys are brand new to the videos, don't forget to click the little subscribe button, and I will see you guys tomorrow as always. Toodles! Toodles! Let's go paintballing. Since I fly a lot, I get like these frequent flyer gifts every once in a while. This one got Allie cool. This is actually a really badass little stone. And I want to show you guys. This is Allie's late, late Christmas, early birthday. We're gonna call this Coverte. It's your Coverte. A birthday. This is her birthday gift. This is her birthday gift right here, guys. It's called Onyx. It's like very organic. See, it pays to fly all the time, guys. You get free gift. These are my free Christmas gifts. <laughs>